Welcome to our lecture online. In this example, we're going to work out how much work it's going to take to put a refrigerator on the back of a truck, either by lifting it straight up or by pushing it up a ramp. And the ramp is going to be frictionless to make it a little bit easier. We're also going to get the concept of what we call mechanical advantage, which would be easier just to lift up the refrigerator and put it on the back of the truck or to push it up an incline. Well, it turns out pushing it up an incline is going to appear a lot easier. The reason for that is because you can get it up to the back of the truck over a greater distance. And since work is equal to force times distance, if you do it over a greater distance, you're going to need a smaller amount of force. The Egyptians who built the pyramids knew that, and they used that principle to push those big blocks up to the top of the pyramid as they were building the pyramid. They simply pushed them up a slight incline to make it a lot easier so they gained that mechanical advantage. So let's first figure out how much force we're going to need to lift the refrigerator and how much force we're going to need to push it up the ramp. Notice we're not given the angle, but we're given that the height is 1.5 meters and that the length of the ramp is 5 meters, so we'll have to figure that out. But to lift it straight up, the force must be equal to the weight of the refrigerator. And so therefore we can say that F1 is equal to the weight, which is equal to mg, which is given to us as 1200 newtons. So the weight of that refrigerator is equal to 1200 newtons. Now to push something up an incline, we have to find the mg sine of theta component. Remember we have the mg coming straight down, we have the mg cosine theta, which of course we're not going to need now because we don't have any friction force to contend with, but we do have the mg sine theta component. And you can see then that by definition, to push something up at a constant speed, you don't need any additional net force. The net force will be zero, so F2 must equal the mg sine theta. Now, what is sine theta equal to in this case? Well, by definition, the sine of theta is the ratio of the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse. And in this case, the opposite side would be the height, which is 1.5 meters, and the adjacent of the hypotenuse is the ramp, which is 5 meters. So you can see that this is equal to 1.5 divided by 5. If we plug that in here, we can say that F sub 2 is equal to mg, which again is equal to 1200 newtons, times the ratio created by the sine of theta, which is the opposite side of the hypotenuse, so 1.5 divided by 5. So 5 goes into 1200, let's see here, that would be uh, 20, that would be uh, uh, 240, and then we multiply that times 1.5, that would be F2 is equal to 360 newtons. So either you can apply a force of 1200 newtons to lift the refrigerator, or you can apply a force of 360 newtons to slide something up a ramp. I would prefer to do it this way. But then, will it take more work or not? Well, we'll find out the work in our method number one by lifting the refrigerator. Work one is going to be equal to force one times the displacement. In this case, the displacement will be lifting it straight up because you have to multiply the force times the displacement in the same direction. So in this case, that would be equal to 1200 newtons times the displacement of 1.5 meters straight up. So that would be equal to 1800 newton meters, which is joules. So the amount of work it takes to lift it straight up, 1800 joules. How about pushing it up the ramp? The work done, work two, is equal to force two times d2. So in this case, it's a much smaller force, 360 newtons, but a greater displacement of five meters. And again, when you multiply that, you get 1800 joules. So you can see that it takes the exact same amount of work to push that refrigerator up the ramp as it does to lift it straight up. The difference is you, have to, you only have to apply a much smaller force to push it up the incline versus a much greater force to lift it straight up, and this is what they call a mechanical advantage. So if we want to look at that ratio, the mechanical advantage is a 1200 to 360 ratio of mechanical advantage. So it's almost, well, let's see, it's a little bit more than three times as easy in a way to push a refrigerator up the incline. So that's the way I would do it.